And my mom was like, you're never getting a tattoo. I'm like, well, she's never gonna see the one inside my lips. Two tattoos. My funny tattoo story. You want to talk about some ink? I got some ink to talk about. Well, I don't know where to start. My funny tattoo is my gummy bear tattoo on my knee. Me and a friend from the Place Academy we caught ourselves the gummy bears, so we got gummy bear tattoos on our legs. All right, so this is the sign of the Greek god Hermes. He's the god of speed and athleticism, and I got it a few months ago just because I was feeling kind of slow and I was feeling kind of sluggish in my training. But this is a sign to like keep the speed, keep the momentum going. His name's Billy. Billy's the secret to all my speed. That's how I go fast. It's Billy. This is my studio um, Ghibli sleeve. Princess Mononoke. This is all about like a strong woman who goes and tries and like saves like the forest and everything. Totoro. Everyone loves Totoro, so nerds on the grid. <laughs> this is a sleeve I'm working on of the uh, Apex Predators. We're gonna have a shark here. We got a we got a rhino coming in. I haven't decided what I'm gonna fill it out with. It might just be a picture of me. I don't know. This one is just a constant reminder to myself that there's no do-overs. There's only the opportunity to do better in the future. So there's never any shot at redemption. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This one has absolutely no meaning whatsoever. I just like it and I think it's funny. Every tattoo I have, have a meaning. Lotus flower with smoke coming up from it. Just says one day at a time. The roses are a memorial for my grandpa and my uh, strength coach coming through high school. That one uh, from my mom, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. Same for equality, diversity, everybody's uh, the same in my eyes. Just stand up for those who can't speak for themselves. I'm the most unlucky, lucky person in the world, so I got 13. It's my favorite number, too. The gun. <laughs> Super random. It's one of my only tattoos, but kind of badass, so no reason. The mid 2000s skulls and stuff were really cool. So I went with the skull sleeve. The Grim Reaper with the barbell on the side and the counterbell. Day of the Dead skull, the cross, a nice little headpiece, and then the skull. Basically, it's the bouquet that my husband and I had during our wedding. It's hydrangeas and peonies, and I wanted to get it for our 10 year anniversary. Beautiful ex wife, Johanna. I always recommend getting a tattoo of your first love because it'll last forever. Wink. I got a classic one. Everybody loves this one. A good mom and dad. You know what I mean? You gotta love your parents, right? I started off with this one for my parents. Basically, just remember who you are, remember where you came from, and then just grew from there. It's for my two daughters. The big rose is for my oldest daughter, uh, Bella, and the smaller rose is for my little daughter, uh, Chloe. And then I just have blessed over the top because I'm blessed to be their father. It's for my great grandma. She was a big part of my life. She's my angel and she was always praying with her rosary in her hand. Living 413, I can do all things through Christ who brings me. It's been kind of a, my favorite verse and a motto that I've lived by. This is uh, the origin of life, so dream catcher. And then my spirit animal would be a wolf. I was born in Guatemala, so we have the Mayan pyramids. I have a very old tattoo. I'm not gonna tell you my age, but let's say it's probably over 20 years. I just went to different countries and got like little pieces of it. I've been to Peru, Argentina, we did Spain, actually went to Dubai. There's a piece of each of those flowers, which I love, to put that one tattoo together. Greatest athlete of all time, personal idol of mine, Muhammad Ali, followed by the second greatest. In one direction, it spells determined. In the other direction, it says Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem stands for seize the day and be determined to overcome the rest. I was at a time in my life where things were pretty difficult. It reminds me of that dark place that, that I came from and the things that I had to overcome to be where I am here today. So every time I, you know, kind of lose any kind of drive, I always just flip my lip and remind myself how hard I trained for a goal and how close I was and how I never want to forget that feeling of pursuing something that I want. You gotta be a savage. Like, you can't hide it, you gotta show it off. <laughs> like anyone, I didn't do research being like an 18, 19 year old, and I went and got this tattoo. It's currently on my back. One day, my teacher's like, hey, Heather, you're a cow. And I'm like, what? They're like, you're a cow. The tattoo on your back, it says cow. And I'm like, no way. Like, sure enough, I go, and uh, I look in the mirror, and it says cow, because it was missing a line. It's supposed to say life. It's corrected now. But for about three years, I had cow on my back. So moral of the story is, do your research. <laughs> <laughs>